WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks, to the 4 p.m. stock market update. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. He will be back tomorrow. Let's see uh, how we did today. We had about a flat close. The ES Mini down about 0.37%, the Russell down about 0.15%, and Q's down about 0.55%. Uh, the Dow futures up marginally at 0.05%. Gold finishing about 2,051. We'll take a look here. If you, did, if you missed last show, I would check the archive and listen to uh, the interview I had with Tim Ward. Uh, he went over the potential future, at least on the short term, uh, for gold and silver. Silver trading at 23 22 and our copper contract, which we'll be looking at uh, for time immemorial, 384. Crude oil contract at 7234. <clears throat> Excuse me, the dollar at 102, just barely down below 10240. Tesla 237. Obviously, we had a lot of movement down uh, in the recent days. Disney at 9059. Take a look here quickly at uh, Dine Therapeutics. So now we were talking a little bit on uh, yesterday's show that this might be a pretty solid year um, for new FDA approvals, right? Um, the, last year, they really increased uh, the amount of approvals uh, that were passed through, and we're seeing some of the larger biotech companies, uh, even Novo Nordisk, uh, kind of giving money to some of these guys uh, to see what they can come up with. Dine Therapeutics actually just created a treatment for Duchenne. Uh, Duchenne syndrome is... Uh, Basically, your, your muscles don't form very well. Um, it affects a lot of people worldwide. Uh, essentially, it increases a certain protein uh, called dystrophin, and that helps keep the muscles together. Uh, that is massive. I think it's about like one in, the number I have here is one in 3,500 males are born worldwide with this. Well, that's a pretty good amount of people uh, to be taking this new drug. So obviously, we're up about 31%, and that is from Tuesday. Um, pretty solid. I'll take a look too, um, just a bit about. Well, here let me. I'll just pull up the grayscale. But of course, we've been talking about this potential uh, for an ETF coming in for uh, Bitcoin. Obviously, we had a massive sell-off yesterday, and it was. I think we called that right, everyone. It, people were just scared that it wasn't going to pass, and those fears were assuaged very quickly. And now um, <clears throat> Bitcoin's about 3% higher than it was. Uh, folks, thank you so much for joining me. Tom O'Brien will be back tomorrow for the 3 o'clock segment. We have Tommy O'Brien at 9 a.m. Eastern time. Then we have Basil, Steve, Larry. And Tom will take you home. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.